it is game day. And I am taking my niece to Classic Game Fest. And Luna's already getting locked. You ready to go? Yes. Yeah? Get her hurry. She All right. Like that we don't have any other clean clothes. Oh, you look great. Can I get mine? I set in my timer at 9 o'clock. I should have set it at for 8 o'clock. <laughs> All right, you ready? Let's go. Let's do this. Let's go. Have some fun. Here to the classic game fest, made the trip. Oh. Gotta go meet up with people, go we'll see what's going on. Should be fun, it's always good times. Okay, so we are here at the classic game fest and uh, just got here, took a little bit of some time to get up here just due to traffic and whatnot. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and just do a real quick walkthrough of the event and just check it out and check out all the classic gaming events, uh stuff that they got out here. All right, so here we go. Let's go do a walkthrough. All right, so just a ton of vintage controllers. Everything from first party to third party knockoffs. Got the best bus for this, kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah. Ghostbuster stuff. I have a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, let's see, Rob. There's a Rob up there. Good love of Rob. Some other games and like little collectibles and whatnot. It's pretty cool. Computer software, different artwork, people doing caricatures. This is pretty cool. So it's like a little thing, basically, it turns your Game Boy into like a little arcade. It's pretty cool. And definitely cool stickers. Always sports stickers from here. Had different games, the two Transformers. Games. Um, like some of the older stuff and then some of the newer, like repros. Oh, I bought one of these jerseys, thought it was pretty cool. It's like, it's like a shy guy, but that was pretty cool. I had to pick one of those up. Um, let's see what else. She's gonna go row by row. Some of the prices are better than others. Some of them are like super um, retail, like really, really high. And then others are a little bit more competitive. You can kind of tell just like who's selling what. But tons of stuff. <laughs> It's like everybody has games that they're selling. It's kind of cool. Different artwork. Everything from games to newer stuff to older stuff. Some old computers. It's kind of neat. Apple and games and wallets and Crash Team Racing. Oh, it just came out on the Switch. Here I go. Kind of cool. I only want this blinking sign, but it's a little on the high side. Uh, 
And of course, at like every convention, they have these boxes that they sell stuff inside. And then cool artwork. I have like the Burger Time and the Pac Man. It's pretty cool. Portland Retro Gaming Expo. The more games. That's some good stuff, but a lot of it was a little bit high. That Mario one looks good. Uh, no idea? No. <laughs> Let me see the back of it. It's 150. It's a little steep for me. And then they have like some portable ones. Most cool, like little portable stuff. They have like magazines, games are everywhere. This is a interesting Atari. So this is a heavy sixer. You can always tell just by the layout and also it's made in Sunnyvale. Those other ones were not made in Sunnyvale. It's a cool little rig you got there. <laughs> oh, thanks, man. Your stuff. So over here, they have like uh, everything's like a dollar. I mean, couldn't really find much, but they have everything from boxes to it's like old like manuals to cases to all kinds of stuff. Oh, and I also pick up like uh, 2600 cards. Make like art projects out of them. For a buck. You can't beat it. Um, a lot of stuff to animals and stuff like that. Little toys. Copy of Clay Fighter that I saw. I found a cheaper one, but I'm trying to see if the one that I found. I'm surprised is just how much these 64s are now. It's super expensive. Uh, some more stuff in there. I wasn't able to get in there. It was pretty crowded. Usually the stuff that's crowded is usually, uh, usually have pretty good deals going on. I like these signs too, I thought they were kind of cool. Let me see. This guy. This guy always has arcade marquees. Bought a few. Although this time he had like a lot of repro stuff that I was kind of interested in. That's pretty original stuff, but cool guy. And this, I want this TV. But foot's broken. So normally they are. But 800, that's pretty steep. For me, it would have to be in a good condition. And then I always love the t shirts from here. They have super cool designs. Bought like three t shirts from them. Some of my personal favorites. More toys. I like this backpack. I don't know if I can convince myself to get a new one. It's pretty cool though. Let's see. Let's see what the inside looks like. It's like a laptop sleeve. It's like an outside pocket. I don't know, maybe this could be my new DJ backpack. It's kind of neat. But I feel like I kind of tear it up. I'm kind of rough with bags. They have to be a little bit more durable than that vinyl stuff. Let's see, more games. Almost thought about that one. Okay, 
there's some more of the dollar stuff. I'm gonna plead ignorance on this one. I don't even know what this is. I don't know if this is like that Skylander stuff or whatever. Kind of like this Infinity stuff. I really don't know what this is. Never got into that. But they have a bunch of them. They got bins and bins of them for like a dollar. It's crazy. Yeah. Old school gamer. Check out his subscription. Yeah. Check out his subscription. <laughs> there you go. Old school gamer magazine. Does that look familiar? Yeah, you get a keychain. <laughs> but, but does that look familiar? Now, now it's insert credit card. Yeah, Swipe exactly. credit card. You don't even put quarters in it anymore. No, 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 no more quarters. <laughs> Avoid coin jams. Swipe card. <laughs> and Game Over is the one that puts the event on, so they come and they sell all their stuff. I'm trying to think of this is where I saw the Cold Fighter. I don't know. And then, of course, they buy games. So that's what that is. And then they sell merch. So they sell t shirts, bags, and all that stuff. Yeah. So I, used to, I think they used to give bags away for free, like when I first started coming here many, many years ago. I'm assuming it's probably pretty expensive. Oh, look. We got some Sega systems. Oh man, this is all stuff they like, tried to repair, I guess. Have to come back and look at that. Uh, the T-shirts. More merchandise. This guy has cool T-shirts. Oh my gosh, they're like super expensive. Twenty-two each or two for forty. I just got three for twenty, so. But cool stuff. A different like Costco stuff. I'm really like tempted by that backpack. Oh my gosh, is it like a little five dollars? These coasters are there's all the stuff that I think is like in those It's all stuff I think they have in those boxes. I think I bought one of those boxes and it had the little Nintendo plush controller and all that. I gave it to the dog. The dog loved it. So you got some more games. And for the life of me, I can't remember where I saw that play fight with that. Dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are at every convention. Like cool koozies. I have a lot of koozies, but I love koozies. Might have to come get a bomb one. Then, got Chun Li. And Star Wars. Star Wars is always cool. Bible first, they always do good work for the for kids and whatnot. We've had them come out to our May the Fourth event a few times. So, new old school stuff, right? Very, very cool. Just tons and tons of games. I need to like actually boost my Saturn collection because I don't have a lot of Saturn games. That's definitely uh Ooh, Konami Justified. Ah, sealed. The sealed stuff is so cool, but I'm the type of person that likes to play this stuff, so I don't like buying the sealed stuff because I want to open it and play with it. <laughs> all this like uh, stuff with boxes and all that, it's really, really cool. 
I've only started getting a few of them, but I just can't do it. I'm also looking for string G. Which GoPro are you using? I'm sorry? Which GoPro are you using? Oh, it's actually a DJI, the Osmo Action. Oh, yeah. You ever seen one of these? Really good, yeah. yeah, it's like the front facing screen, so yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, it only came out like a couple months ago or something like that. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry, man. Yeah, it came out like a couple months ago, so. I like the lighting. That looks ah. really good. Ah, thanks, man. Should find an alpha. Awesome, good. So, how's that? The other side of the guys, t-shirts, awesome t-shirts. I bought a hat from these guys last year. I think it was a Frogger hat. I didn't find anything this year. I need to stop buying hats and I need to stop buying t-shirts. Even though I bought three t-shirts this year. At this event alone. Ooh, top down. stuff here. I'm into cases. Cases and controllers. That's what I'm into lately. That's what I want to buy. We're almost all the way through the main like vendor section. Oh, it looks like we're packing up t-shirts. This is more and more vendors. It's cool. I mean, if you're into the classic video game stuff, they have a lot of artists and whatnot that you can support. It's pretty, pretty cool. and lots of vendors. These guys always have cool stuff. Canned oxygen. I actually have one of those. Super cool stuff. Always looks cool. Attention, Classic Game Fest TV. If you are missing your daughter, please come to the front check in booth of Classic Big Game Fest. Greg. You just never know who you're going to run into. And we got Link. So here we got. Uh, Music performances, and then full arcade going on. It's pretty cool. Everything 80s, 90s. Nothing really older than 80s. Anything that's too vintage, but it's all pretty cool. Joseph Divine from BitForce. And then they have a whole bunch of uh, just kind of like the history of all the different games. So it's kind of like a legit collection. This is what I really want to build. So they have all those old consoles. 
Pinballs is an arcade. They have one here. Uh, they have one south of Boston. I don't know this game. That'll be new. It's like a platform. Bunch of old games, whatnot. Man, I think they're giving like some kind of tournament. They got the like the sit down candies, the Blast City, and all that stuff. Oh, uh, it's a T Rex again. Try not to run into his tail. Try not to step on him. Texas Gamers League. This is my buddies. Killer Queens. Gonna be coming out on the console soon. Really, really freaking awesome game. If you haven't seen it. It's super legit. It's like real simple, but oh my gosh, it's so much fun. It's like 5 on 5. It's super cool. Arcades for home. So this is uh, Emron. This is his stuff. So any of y'all that are going to prepare for Area 51, there you go. There it is. Near Geoforce Line. A bunch of arcade games and then over here it's set up the basically where they're just showing off the different consoles. Over here you can actually play them. So they have different everything from the original stuff I think to like the retro cons and whatnot where it's like kind of like emulating it. It looks like actually yeah, that's a retro con. There's a GameCube retro con. There's a Saturn. Original Nintendo. For the most part they have them on CRT so you can play them. finish up buying stuff and then my brother's here with my niece so I gotta go ahead and find them and uh, kind of meet back up because I gotta take my niece home but I'm gonna do a little bit more shopping I'm gonna head out and I had a great time this year uh, definitely will come back every year I just always have a great time just looking at the vendors I don't really play too many games I mean I play so many games on like when I'm out that just don't play too many while I'm here. I'm more here for like vendors and just checking and just meeting people and whatnot. I meet up with a lot of friends and stuff here. But I wanted to see if this one game was still out. It's a pretty rare one. I just wanted to see if it was still out here. It's actually a little Samson on the Nintendo. I don't know if he still has it up. Uh, I think it's laying down. He had it standing up earlier and it just made me like nervous. But here it is right here. We'll end it with this one. Yep, so that was the Classic Game Fest. Uh, super, super cool. And uh, like I said, I'm just going to go ahead and keep on shopping. Look around to see what we can do. See what we can do as far as damage. Alright, time to go have some fun.